Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about some ideas for a box trap, a wooden box trap for trap animals in USA. This is legal and uh, some, some uh, animals are really a pest in uh, USA. We had a bit of problems with raccoons and with a different setup of a trap we got rid of that for the hopefully long future and uh, I additionally did make this box trap and uh, in this video I will show quick how that works. First like the trap it is right now it's uh, set up that it would uh, allow the animal to enter from the left side. We see there the nail with the orange flag. We see in the middle of it that lid with the screw to pull and then we see on the right side the, the slot and the compartment for the food which I'm gonna show in a minute. First I'm gonna trigger it with the machete that's why this slot here is uh, open. Basically like this it's gonna be as the, the door is closed. Now I'm gonna open it up for that you see how the mechanics work. First we take off the lid here. That's basically just a simple wood with a, with a screw that you can take off, put away so you see inside what, what uh, is actually in the trap and uh, that you can also fill water in it if you want that. On the side we have a regular hinge. I take off the nail so we can open it up like this. First, first side, second side. It's gonna open like that so you see inside how the trap is built. It's basic simple system. We have on the left side the door that is hinged basically swinging up and down. It uh, is in this position as the tab on the right side is depressed on as the animal stand on it. It simply falls down and that locking, that lever here locks the door so it will not open anymore. That's, that's a basic simple simple design like this. Then we have here just a simple bended metal on a wood plate that is hinged with the screws here that will actually trigger the door. We just put that up. That part here goes below the, the door and as the animal stands on the, on the plate it's gonna release the door as I did show in the video before. Then we have this hole here. There's basically where that nail goes through. So the nail, as the door, as the, the, the hinged lid is shut, the nail will be standing here on the door. And as the door is released, that will just go down inside the trap as well. So you see from far, if something did trigger the, the, the door or not, that allows you to save time if you put that in the garden or somewhere else you can basically watch with the, with the scope or other device is it still ready to, to trap or not do I need to walk over there and look or not so that's basically this this side the other side I made a caged compartment for most of the food we have the, the wire mesh here and here and third piece is of course on top here so the second compartment is for the main food. We have just a little bit of food inside the main compartment. Most of the food is on the right side inside the, the compartment that is completely locked up. So actually the food will not get eaten up by all the animals that get trapped. We can reuse that. Just a little bit of food that you decide that go in the main side of the of the trap will get eaten. So the wood is water sealed. 
that's going to get painted later. What I did find out already about this trap is that uh, for some animals, because the door is swinging down, the room inside is a bit tight. So for smaller ones like like uh, raccoons, uh, the for smaller ones like the squirrels and and the uh, chipmunks and all that that works. But if you have a bit uh, a bigger ones like the raccoon, that's gonna be too tight. But uh, again, this video just should uh, give you ideas how such a trap could be simply uh, made. So what I gonna do? I make an additional door on the left side that will fall down from top to bottom and not hinge from the right to the left. So we can use either one of the doors for depending on what kind of animals we're gonna, we gonna get. That uh, Sometimes it's better to have the door inside the trap in case you want to put that by uh, in the woods, by the, by the trees and all. So it's all in the box and no leaves or whatever fall down on your trap could uh, actually block the, the door so it would not work. So, so inside the, the trap door is for sure better. But sometimes, as I say, if you have a bigger, bigger uh, pest like raccoon, the, the door will just hit the animal a bit on the rear end and uh, then the animal starts backing out. And uh, that what uh, happened last night as I tested out a bit with the uh, other animals just for test it out and uh, so that's that's uh, why I'm gonna do a, a different door that will be a couple metal parts added on so we can use the same trigger mechanism for the second door as well as the first door the the first door that we have in here we're just gonna lock up up uh, with a screw really simple and then we use the secondary door for for put that down last point about the slot in the middle here is a, a wood a simple wood plate gonna fit in there so basically as the door is shut as the door is shut then you put the, the way wood plate through you have this part here you open that up, you see what is in there. If you decide to uh, make it dead, if it's a pest, if it's legal, then you can slide in the wood, make it basically like an aquarium, and then you can you can uh, fill this one up really easy with the water hose. So it's basically a little bit like an aquarium, and uh, that's gonna give us the advantage that we only use water. No, nothing to, to shoot or blood or anything, any any problem. It's just basic water and then as we want to let the water out we just slide up the, the wood part on the side so the water can flush out and that's it. Then we can empty the, the trap really easy. That much about the, the first video of the wooden homemade Swiss Bianco trap.